Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is game user settings? The Git desktop resolution node. So this is the node we're going to be working with. It's pretty simple. If we get our game user settings and then pull off onto the Git desktop resolution, it's going to return the user's desktop resolution in an int point structure, which is an X and a Y structure. So we're going to get back an X and a Y, or we can split it and get back the individual values. Now in this case, I'm going to drag off the X and hit play, and you'll see 1920. My window's running at 1920. My window's running at 1280 by 720 because we're in the editor. Let's redo this. My window here is running at 1280 by 720, but my desktop's 1920. I can show you that by doing 1920 by 1080, hit an accept, and you'll see it fills up pretty much the entire screen. You do the same thing with the Y, you'll go back to the Y value of 1080. And this is useful for when you want to know what the actual desktop resolution is of the player rather than what the current resolution the game's running at. For example, on the startup for the first time, you may want to present the game in full screen mode using the entire desktop resolution that the customer has sent it at, so that way they get a good experience. If you are someone who has multiple monitors or perhaps you've played a game where it defaults to a lower resolution than your desktop, you'll find that your icons get changed and it, it just plays general havoc. If you were to do something like get the desktop resolution, go ahead and plug it into the set screen resolution, and then set the full screen mode to something like windowed full screen or borderless. This will give the nice user experience when the player starts it up. It will give them an actual full screen appearance without messing up their resolution of their desktop. So that's pretty much all the get desktop resolution node does. It just takes the desktop resolution in pixels, returns as an endpoint, and then you can do whatever you want with it.